What's up guys? Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're taking a look at Triple Jam from Blake's Hard Cider Company out of Armada, Michigan. Roll that B-roll. So if you notice it's just me today and the last video obligatory was just me as well. Um, and I really wanna start doing more videos with you guys, start doing more reviews. I think it's just a fun thing to do. Um, and, and unfortunately that conflicts with, with the bros, with Cole and Dakota's schedule sometimes. So in order to maintain that pace and get more videos out and do more reviews and ultimately drink more beer, what I'm going to be doing is just doing a bunch of solo reviews and then I'll get with them as much as humanly possible, as much as their schedules will allow. Um, so yeah, let's jump into this one. So as I mentioned, this is Triple Jam from Blake's Hard Cider Company out of Armada, Michigan. Clocks in at six and a half percent. This is a strawberry, blackberry, and raspberry hard cider. You've probably seen this guy around. It's not that hard to get. Blake's Hearted Cider Company themselves is a pretty big company. I've seen their stuff everywhere. At least their distribution network is huge. I, I don't know about them personally. Um, and they are, of course, independent, family owned. Um, it's not a big corporation. They're still local, but they're, they have a, a pretty big reach going. And of course, this is an all year round offering. You can get this whenever. Just sounded good, thought I'd jump on it. So let's jump right into this review. The actual artwork on the can, oh my gosh, I don't think they could fit any more branding on there, on all their jazz, but um, it's, it's pretty cool on the actual artwork itself. Strawberry, blackberry, raspberry on there. A little kind of a cartoon drawing. It's, 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 it caught my eye, I'll tell you that. Um, I, I didn't necessarily know anything about this, hadn't heard about it, I saw the can, thought, you know, that sounds really good, let's pick it up. So it is job. Too much, I think a little bit. Now it's time to pop this baby open and see what she looks like. Look how beautiful she is. There's something about that rose pink red hue that is just so pretty in a cider. So in my opinion, just my opinion, looks beautiful. Fair amount of fizz to it, um, not a lot of head but fair amount of fizz to it. So let's dive on into the, the sniffs here, as Cole would say. So right off the bat, you get that smooth strawberry tone, very pleasant. And then it transitions into more of a sharp raspberry note. I don't smell much of the blackberry. And you, you, of course you have that uh, typical apple cider, alcohol apple smell to it from any cider that you'd smell. Yeah, smells good. Let's, let's dive on in and see how, uh, how she tastes. That is really good. That is like really good. Definitely on the sweeter side. Not sickly sweet, but definitely sweet. It kind of follows the nose. You start off with a strawberry taste, very smooth. Then it transitions into more of a, a tart note. And again, I'm struggling to find the blackberry. It gets to a point where the, the flavors just so blend together. The, the tartness of the raspberry kind of mixes with the tartness of the drink itself because it's not super sweet where all your, your, your apple tartness is gone, but the raspberry and the tartness of the apple blend together to make a really nice finish. All right, so just a quick run back through of what I thought. Um, can was not my favorite. It definitely caught my attention. Um, it just sounded that good, but when I actually take a look at it, eh, not a fan. Um, the sight is beautiful, absolutely stunning. And the smell is, is very pleasant. And of course, the taste, let me just get a quick refresher here. The taste is awesome. I think a little bit sweet for me, 
I don't know that I would have more than one of these, but tartness balances it out. And again, I can't really taste the blackberry, but the raspberry and strawberry are there in, in waves. And it's, it's amazing, I love it. And if I had to give a review, which, I mean, what's the point of this video, if not to give my opinion on, on this drink, I would say this is a good cider. Yeah, it's a good cider. It can definitely you could use with a little bit more of a lighter touch. And I'm really struggling to find that blackberry note. All right, so I know that was a little bit more of a mainstream one. I mean, you can probably get this. You can probably get this pretty much anywhere. And if I had to, I could make it lose points for that. You know, uh, whether we're just talking about local down the road establishments and you know, if we're talking about Sam Adams or Bush or any of these bigger guys, will they lose points for, for being so common? I don't think I'm inclined to include that. So even though this is very commonly found, I still think it's a good cider. And I think that uh, anybody could enjoy this. My wife, who's not a big fan of the, the, the more bitter, the, the harsher flavors from craft beer and the ciders and meads, I think she would love this. So I appreciate you guys watching, guys. That's all she wrote for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate every one of you, and this is just an awesome thing to do. I love doing it. I love, love showcasing everything that this area has to offer. Yeah, cheers, guys. See you next time.